Greetings and saludos desde San Miguel de Allende. I'm here at the Rosewood San Miguel de Allende, one of the town's most luxurious and beautiful hotels. So let's go inside and take a look. Located in one of Mexico's hottest destinations for luxury and cultural travel, the Rosewood San Miguel de Allende is a postcard perfect place to enjoy an indulgent vacation. Its architecture is designed to fit in with the town's historic vibe, yet the hotel also features lots of modern art and upscale amenities. The lush grounds are perfect for strolling, and even the lobby feels like a sumptuous living room in an upscale hacienda. Modern artwork graces the beautiful central courtyard. The verdant grounds also feature a lovely swimming pool and lots of colorful flowers. Inside, you'll find a full-service spa and a well-equipped fitness center. You won't want to miss the gorgeous view from the rooftop bar and restaurant. The Rosewood has multiple room categories, all of which feature handsome decor and layouts designed for comfort. For maximum space, reserve one of the residences, which range in size from two to five bedrooms, complete with living rooms, full kitchens, multiple balconies or terraces, and rooftop decks. Now let's take a look at the five-bedroom residence where I stayed. And now it's time to take a look inside one of the residences at the Rosewood San Miguel de Allende. I'm sharing my accommodations with one of the top PR professionals in the United States and Mexico and in the world, Mr. Gustavo Rivas. He's going to be giving us a tour and also one of the top fellow travel writers and one of my good friends as well, Megan Drillinger, also known as Drillin Journeys. So let's go inside and take a look at these accommodations. So Megan, my friend Megan here, is going to show us some of her favorite parts of the living and dining area of this fabulous residence, right? Yes, of course. My favorite part is always the dining area. And as you can see also we have a courtyard here, which is very nice. This is so cool. It's four, four stories high, I believe, right? Four stories and we even have an elevator. I don't think I've stayed in many places where we had our own private elevator. Have no, you I was someone? confused last night. I thought that we were going right. to our room upstairs, but this was our room. Yeah, this entire place is for us. So there's a half bathroom here, there's one bedroom here, but we'll take a look at one that looks just like it there. Should we do the kitchen first? Sure. Well, it was a really nice surprise to walk in last night and find this beautiful, fully equipped kitchen with all of that lovely snack area over there. But the hotel was really wonderful. They've taken it away now, but last night they had a lovely evening tea set up. When you need PR, en route communications will get you far. <laughs> Sorry. Quite all right. They had a lovely evening tea set up for us last night. Of course, we opted for the wine. Um, so this is a really nice place if you want to come and prepare meals, or you can have the hotel come in and um, prepare a private meal for you with a private chef. And then, if you come over here, you have this fabulous dining table which is where we had breakfast last night and room service, nope, sorry, that breakfast this morning and right. <laughs> room service last night. And then you can enjoy it all over here in this wonderful plush seating area. We lounged here last night when we got in pretty late and it's just a comfy, co uh, comfy cozy spot for the house to gather together and that's why I like it here. And there's multiple balconies, which is really nice too. Balconies and terraces. So you see there's a balcony here with a nice view. Um, there's the courtyard that you already saw. And upstairs we have more bedrooms and more balconies. In terms of the actual guest rooms, we're going to start with mine because it is actually it's the smallest, but it's still huge. My room is one of two bedrooms that are set up with two double beds. And so this would be ideal for families. One thing we really like about it here is that it does have a work desk. I've got a, a little bit messy here. Um, it has a lot of natural light. There's a beautiful balcony with a view of this of this little street. It's a street with no traffic, which is something I always love because it's quiet. There's a huge walk-in closet. The bathroom, the bathtub is one of my favorite things. I haven't even used it yet, but I think the bathroom is, is really, the bathtub is really gorgeous. Isn't that dramatic? <laughs> it would be good for a photo shoot. I think, is this tin? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's kind of a traditional tin design, but very practical and, and attractive at the same time. Let's go see the fabulous other rooms now. 
And now I will show you my room. Gustavo, would you like to see my room? Yes, I like to see small things. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of love we have here on this trip. So this is my room. Um, it's beautiful. It was very comfortable to crash into that lovely bed last night. But my favorite part of the room is this beautiful terrace because I'm a little bit of a sun worshiper. So I was out here earlier getting some sun. Oh, I don't have that. Mm, see? Yeah. And then it's got this view over the courtyard of, well, I think it's the courtyard actually. Um, it's, it's just, it's a lovely, lovely spot. It's been, I spent a lot of time out here today. Real nice book. Yes. And or. now we get to see Gustavo's room, which is also huge and beautiful. And you have your own like living area. I do. Mine's VIP. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Now we're going to see Gustavo's accommodations, which are really special because he has this amazing living space too. So sh what, what do you want to show us? So this is my bedroom. Um, I guess it has the perks of being the PR person. It is the biggest bedroom. Um, my favorite part of it is definitely the bed and this yeah, the posters. that it has yeah. around it. I love it. It's and you also have a, a fireplace here, which I is do. really nice. I have nice. a fireplace. I don't know how to turn it on, but if I did, I would show it to you. Right. So you could play. <laughs> <laughs> Again, what you said about the desk is definitely my favorite part. Really nice. I get to work. And you have a nice terrace. Oh, and I have a nice there. terrace, so I have to show it to you. You saw the bathroom already, so. Right, the bathrooms are all the same with the beautiful tubs. But this, I get to work on this. This is my little balcony. It's nice and private, nice and cozy. And I also have a private entrance to the hotel. So if you don't so want to talk to us, you can escape exactly. easily. And also I can go up to scare you guys from the, right. from the other side. And yeah. I love the columns and the arches because this is a relatively new construction, right? But it's designed to fit in with the historic ambiance the of San Miguel Spanish de Allende. Colonial yeah, it's really nice. But now show us your uh, living this room. This is my living room. This is... He has his I own living room. I have a lot of perks room. when I go on press trips. Usually a yacht. But this is really <laughs> good. This, is this isn't second bad. Second best in nothing. Come on. This is my living room. And I I've been a good this. boy. You can see I've been working. There's my laptop. Uh, it's really cozy. I love it because if you have no music on, you can, all you hear is the, the water and the waterfall coming down. So it's very peaceful, very nice. This is beautiful with a giant fireplace. I mean, this could, I was saying this floor alone, your quarters here would be an amazing suite by itself. But with this entire residence, it's really so much space to spread out perfect for a family extended family or groups of friends or whatever yeah. and since it's walking distance to downtown to, to all the historic sites in San Miguel de Allende it's really a good place to base yourself right yes. you can see why it's one of the best hotels in the world <laughs>